um, America's infrastructure is really where the strength of our nation came from. Everybody's connected by, by infrastructure and people uh, really don't, don't recognize it. Just coming to work, going over uh, bridges and roads, people can recognize that, but they don't see underneath that is all the uh, sewer systems and water systems and, and cable, power, everything that's under the roads. And the American Society of Civil Engineers says that our, uh, that our infrastructure is rated uh, D+. Plus. So our infrastructure is in a pretty, uh, is in a pretty bad stead right now. Uh, one of the key problems with our infrastructure is, uh, is a lot of it uh, was invested and people planned it in the 1950s and the 1960s. And so it's just plain wore out. A bridge that was uh, designed to take a, a load of, say, 100,000 vehicles uh, a day is not able to do that because it's been wearing out over uh, time. So it may only be able to take 80 or 90,000 vehicles a day. The problem is that with population growth, it's not taking that designed load of 100,000, it's taking 200,000. So if you just take that one piece and multiply it by all the other places where we have infrastructure, you'll see that the challenge is, uh, is significantly there. What we're looking for in, is, uh, in our infrastructure is redundancy. You need, to, you need to be looking at livability, you need to be looking at the sustainability, and you need to be looking at the economy. Uh, and so the livability part is what a lot of folks are, are, are having a challenge with. If you are a coastal community, you want to be able to get to the uh, coast and putting a seawall, concrete seawall up, is not something that, that people would want. We're looking at a number of uh, engineered with nature or nature-based solutions on trying to reduce those vulnerabilities. The strongest nation in the world is going to have the best infrastructure in the world. A, a lot of folks say that there's not, a, there's not enough resources to, uh, to make that happen, and, and I say I think it's just a problem priority issue. Uh, so railroads, runways, rivers, if you've got that in place, you can move uh, your goods around this nation and, and around the world rapidly. So there's all sorts of good reasons why we should have uh, uh, that vision to move forward and get the infrastructure in place.